guys, it's me, Sydney. Welcome back to my channel. It's another fitness episode. So this is the beginning of fitness and I figured, you know what? The best way to start off fitness is to tell you guys my fitness goals for the month of December, what I want to accomplish, and we're gonna see if I do end up accomplishing them. So first things first, your girl's gonna get back to if it fits my macros. My macros right now, before, by the way, I took about six months off of if it fits my macros and I was more so just eating like intuitively and cleanly and then like occasionally macro tracking if I really felt like it. Um, but now I'm back on my fitness pal. So this is what my fitness pal looks like. And those are my macros. So I'm gonna tell you guys, but here's a disclaimer, do not copy my macros because I've been working really hard to build my metabolism back up. When I was 233 pounds, I could not have eaten this and lost weight. And so I'm hoping with fingers crossed, like because I've been building a lot of muscle, I wanna keep that muscle and I'm gonna eat this way and see how it goes for the month of December. And like, if I don't reach the goals that I have set, I'm not gonna be butthurt about it because I'm just trying this out because I haven't done macros in a while. But I know that I've been eating more than these macros, so I feel like it's gonna work out. Basically, my macros are 201 grams of carbs, 54 grams of fat and then 180 grams of protein which equals 2010 calories so that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be doing um, if it fits my macros rather than clean eating because it all comes down to the science of like what you're inputting um, and for the holidays it's really hard to stay on track so I'm doing if it fits my macros where I can kind of prepare it and then I can just enjoy it because I will be going from my dorm room to my house and I'll be traveling and doing if it fits my macros is so much easier because if I eat out for one meal, that's like a thousand calories and then I still have another thousand to kind of work with and like play around with and get my protein back up. Um, another thing is I'm going to continue drinking my gallon a day of water. This is a big thing that I want to incorporate back in. Um, I already drink a gallon a day, but I want to remember to do this on break, especially when it starts to get colder. So this is your reminder to stop, stop and chug, you guys. And then the other thing is I'm starting to drink protein again. I'm going to use up all of the protein that I have that's like whey, um, like I think there's like isol I'm gonna just use all the ones that are like dairy based and then I'm gonna go back to being plant based for my protein uh, powder. And the protein powder that I really like is called Plant Fusion. I know a ton of vegans who love it and I'm honestly, I used that in the beginning of my journey and I realized it did work. So the big thing is I'm gonna start doing the basics that I did before but also I'm gonna be eating a lot more. So that's gonna be really fun because I haven't, I haven't been able to like try and kind of like see what my body can do macro wise in a long time and I'm excited to show you guys that but I'm gonna start tracking again you guys can add me fit Sydney it's also in the description box if you guys are wondering but with that being said I am also doing fitness so with that I want to be like giving you guys some like sit down video content and then also like some out and about me doing stuff and I'm gonna be trying different things if you guys have video requests do that for me but I want to do a little bit more talking about like what I'm trying to look for fitness and health wise and you guys should comment down below your goals like I would love to hear what you guys want to accomplish for the month of December and um, now I'm going to talk about my physique so I'm going to be doing an update in two weeks and then two weeks after that I'm going to do another update so I'm going to do physique updates and I have my original that I took this morning because I'm wearing the same sports bra and I weighed in everything so I'm going to talk about that really quick and I'm going to insert the clips as I'm talking so first things first I am going to be like talking and inserting the clips because I don't know how much footage I have of my physique but with that being said I weighed in this morning and my weight was actually 197.0 I have a new scale it's called one by one it's like an app one it's easy because I can track everything on the app and then see what my BMI like is supposed to be via that but I mean like I'm not really I have a little bit more muscle I feel but um, I'm currently 197.059 and at age 18 my physique right now looks like what you guys are seeing on the screen and I can't wait to build my shoulders my lats up a little bit I really do need to start focusing on building some more leg muscle because I know I will be lacking in that eventually if I don't um, Start doing that, but I'm gonna start by just continuing to do what I'm doing right now lifting wise and keeping that routine for another two months but having my macros be a little bit different. And with that being said, I'm gonna try to get a little bit stronger while I'm still, cause I'm still eating plenty. I have the macros that are like 2000 calories. Like that's not a major deficit or anything like that, especially because I was eating like 2500 before this. I was loading up you guys. Hey guys, so I have Katie here to do my measurements. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure my arms, both sides, and then we're gonna measure my thighs, my 
smallest part of my waist and then the biggest part of like my hip area but you just have to remember where we measure so we can continue measuring there yeah. and then i have to drop it okay. and now. okay and then waist so like it'll be like the smallest part and then like the part that's like right here like 31 and a half okay i lost it i was a 32 40. Damn! My chest is so much smaller, you guys. It used to be a 45, 43. Now it's Was that 40. right across your nipples? Yeah, bro. My boobs have gotten so small. That's probably why they're so saggy. Two weeks, I want to measure it again. I'm not going to measure it now because, like, I feel like there's no, there's no use in doing it every week for myself because, like, I don't want to get that obsessed with, like, losing fat, but I just want to show you guys my personal starting point. So, it was 40, right, for the chest? Yep. Okay. So, I have it all written down. This is for December 4th, so that would be 12-4. So, those are my results. I have that right there. And then I also weigh currently 197.0. So, that's probably the highest that I've been in a while uh, when you think about, like, morning weight. But, you know, that's okay. And then I'm going to just start incorporating back in the foods that I ate before to curb my sweet tooth because you guys know this. I have the biggest sweet tooth ever and in college it's a little bit harder to, because I don't have a freezer. So what I'm going to do now is like be back at home for a little bit, be back here and just start eating my Halo Top and Lenny and Larry's cookies like how I used to eat them in order to see results. And I'm going to show you guys how I incorporate those things so then I don't go and have like binge eating episodes or anything like that. And I'm going to be working just as hard over break, just in a different way than I was in school. Because now I'm just going to be putting my heart and soul into my videos while I'm doing break and working on a secret project that's eventually going to be coming out. And I'm so excited for it. Um, and then I'm just going to be focusing on my health and hitting the gym a lot more religiously at the time that I like. Because I usually go to the gym when I'm on breaks at like 2 p.m. Because that's like my prime perfect gym workout time. I'm going to probably start taking pre-workout once a week. I don't really take it that often. I do take it occasionally though and I feel like I get the best workouts ever but I'm trying to stay a little bit further away from it. So that's kind of my uh, little bit of an update for you guys. I hope that this helped you guys out, kind of gave you guys some insight on my life and everything that I'm doing right now but I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys in my next fitness episode. You guys are amazing. Keep doing you. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, by the way. Bye, babes.